Well, you don't go nearly two full weeks without playing a game and not have any rust, as was the case for the UTEP men's basketball team. Last time out, way back on December 4th, the Miners hung with Marquette in a seven-point loss. They were back on the floor today at the Don Haskins Center. I'll tell you, though, who wasn't on the floor. That was UTEP's leading scorer, Evan Gilliard, who was out with a leg injury today against UC Riverside. And there was some rust early, but the Miners working through it. First half, that's Nigel Hawkins with the strong take and finish. He had uh, nine points on the day. I, menaced, I mentioned the rust. There's Dragon Elkaz burying the three ball. It was just a five-point game at the half. But then freshman Epi ODG took over in the second half. Hoop and harm. ODG finished with 24 points and 11 rebounds for a double-double animal style. Jordan Lathan, he chipped in with 14 points, 12 of them coming in the second half. UTEP improves to 4-5 and five on the season with a 68-56 win over the Highlanders. They put time in, in the gym, and they can see the results of putting the time in the gym. What happens in the game? They're getting better, and, uh, and they're more confident. And um, they're going to just continue to get better and better as the season goes along. Yeah, I feel like we grow up every game, every, every practice, day. every day. Like, <laughs> I, it, it's not one time that we don't grow up. It's not one time that coach doesn't grow us up, if that makes sense. Uh, he's always pushing us always to pushing. Uh, be older than we are. That was Nigel Hawkins chipping in there as well. The Don Haskins Sun Bowl Invitational is up next. UTEP will host Norfolk State on Friday, followed by either East Tennessee State or Wyoming on Saturday.